came home from Normandy. Well, just came home. I came home a few hours ago. I had the best time, honestly. I never really look forward to New Year's. It's not, it's not my thing. But this is just my favorite way to spend New Year's Eve just with a group of friends at home or renting a little Airbnb. And yeah, we just, it was so wholesome. It was very chill, very calm, very peaceful. And we just came home and I feel so good, motivated and energized and excited for the new year. It's the 2nd of January actually, but I think the 1st of January doesn't really count. The 2nd of January is actually the first day of the year for me at least. I don't really believe in New Year's resolutions, but I do think that setting goals at the beginning of the year is really helpful to give yourself some sort of a direction. So that's what I wanna do now. I waited because I wanted to do it with you guys. So we're gonna do some goal setting for the new year. But first I want a cup of coffee. <laughs> I have my very cozy setup ready. I'm going to write down my goals for 2024. I wanna share two of them with you guys. And one of them I'm gonna share a bit later because it is related to something that I will be doing later. But the other one is something that I have been dreaming about for so long. It is something that I've been saying for years now and I've decided that this year it is the time to make it happen. And that is moving to Paris. I've talked about Paris so many times in my videos and if you've been following me for longer than you know that I really have such a deep love for the city and right now when I say moving I don't mean moving there permanently but being there for a longer period because right now I think that's the most realistic for me and for this year I just want to stay for a longer period in Paris and experience what it's like actually living there I have this very romanticized version of Paris in my head of course and I know that it's not all sunshine and rainbows but that's why I actually want to experience what it's truly like living in Paris for a longer period. And linked to that is actually another goal and that is to become fluent in French. I have been taking language classes for almost two years now and last year I wrote down a goal in the beginning of the year to film a video fully in French and I've noticed that having a specific goal really helped me so much being consistent in my language learning and taking language classes and it just really helped me improve so much. That's why this year again I want to have a specific goal for my language learning and being able to speak French but also just practice it in real life when I will be living there. I think it will motivate me so much to start this year by continuing my French learning and staying consistent throughout the year. And you might be wondering, how are you gonna become fluent in French? Well, I mentioned the language classes. I've been taking French classes with Lingoda for almost two years now. If you don't know Lingoda, they are an online language school. I've been taking French classes, but they also offer classes in Spanish, German, English, and business English. They have native speaking teachers from all over the world. So they offer classes 24 seven. That makes it super flexible. You can really adjust your language learning to whatever fits your schedule. They offer group classes and one-on-one -on -one classes. I personally really love the group classes. And to me, it's very funny because when I first started, I was so terrified of speaking speaking to strangers in a different language in French and I was very insecure but I've noticed over time and especially with the teachers who make you feel super comfortable they're small groups of only like five people so I noticed that over time I became a lot more confident in speaking in French and actually practicing it with different people. So I really love the group classes. So if you have a language related goal for yourself for 2024, then this is actually the perfect way to start because you can now sign up for Lingoda's Sprint Challenge that starts the 15th of January. With the Sprint Challenge, you take either 30 or 60 classes for 60 days. And if you successfully finish the Sprint, you will get a 50% cashback or extra class credits. It is the perfect way to stay motivated, get into the habit of taking language, 
language classes and becoming consistent with your language lear learning because I've noticed that consistency is key. And if you use my code Sprint Iris and my link, which everything will be linked in the description, you will get not only 30% off, but also an additional 20 euros or $25 off. So it's the perfect way to start learning a language. I'm very curious if you have a language goal and what it is. I am now going to write down my goals. I'm also going to schedule my classes for January because I, I want to have them in my agenda. We are starting strong this year. So, I mentioned that I have another very exciting goal for this year. And as you can see, I changed into my running clothes. So, can you guess what it is? I'm running a marathon this year. I signed up for the Valencia Marathon two weeks ago and I kept it a secret because I wanted to wait and tell it to you guys right now. and. It is so freaking scary, but also so exciting. I am actually going for a run right now because um, the weather is gonna be really, really bad. So I'm quickly going to get my run done right now and then I will talk about my freaking marathon when I'm back. my runs better got completely soaked once again but that bath was amazing i did shower before don't worry i washed off my sweat i don't really have the patience for baths so i don't take them very often but when i do i always i'm like oh, it's quite nice actually but okay let me talk about my marathon goal i have been thinking about running a marathon it's always it has been something that i've been telling myself like oh yes at some point i want to run a marathon but it was never really something that i really i wasn't really convinced that i could do it or that i could really enjoy it but i've been talking about it with uh, on lot which is david's sister and their cousin and we kind of just decided that we're gonna do it together so the three of us were gonna run the valencia marathon in december this year it's in december so it's months away i don't have to start training until september so it's still like i still have so much time to train but it's really really scary but very exciting i am running a half marathon in march so i am currently training as well but i'm just super excited to take you guys along with me on this whole running journey first doing a half marathon and then doing a full marathon my first full marathon ever and i'm just curious what kind of videos or like if there's any running content that you guys would like to see from me this year because I always include my runs in my daily vlogs and of course I have my race day vlogs every now and then but I'm very curious if you want to see more detailed running videos maybe training days 
whatever that may be. Um, so yeah, let me know. And also just let me know what kind of videos in general you want to see from me this year. I'm super excited to create more and yeah, to have another exciting year ahead. I had the best start of this year, honestly. I feel super excited and motivated, like I said in the beginning of the video. So thank you so much for being here and sending you lots of love. And we'll see each other again next week.